Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve sum based on Newton's backward difference interpolation under the topic numerical analysis. Now, at the start of the video, we will learn about what are the various steps in order to solve Newton backward difference interpolation. And thereafter, we will be seeing the formula which needs to be used in order to get the answer based on Newton's backward difference interpolation. So let us see what is Newton's backward difference interpolation and how we need to solve sum based on two steps. Okay, now let us see how to solve the sum based on Newton's backward difference interpolation. Now there are two steps in order to solve some such sum. Okay. Number one, we need to first prepare the backward difference table. The columns will be as X and Y, which will be there in the question. Thereafter, we need to find the first backward difference, the second backward difference, the third backward difference, fourth backward difference. And as uh, you know, as the question may give, okay, there can be even fifth, sixth, seventh also. But by default, okay, there should be three to four backward difference in the table. That's step number one. So first step, we always need to create uh, the backward difference table. Step number two, Newton's backward difference interpolation formula. After making the table, okay, then we need to apply one formula by which we can find the final answer. Now the formula states that fx is equal to y n where n stands for the last number from each columns. So y n plus u multiply by the first backward difference n plus u into u plus one upon second factorial into the second forward difference into the second backward difference plus u into u plus 1 u plus 2 upon 3 factorial into the third backward difference plus u into u plus 1 u plus 2 u plus 3 upon 4 factorial into the fourth forward difference and so on depending upon the number of uh, backward differences we have uh, you know the formula gets expanded in that order where your u stands for x minus x n upon h now the applicability of this formula, the formula looks very big, but while actually solving the sum, okay, the formula is very simple. Okay, so you'll understand how to apply this particular formula when we actually solve a sum based on it. So now let us see, uh, taking up one example, how to find the solution when they have asked us to use Newton backward difference interpolation formula. Okay, now look at this question. Using the following table, find the value of f when x is 3.6 using Newton's backward difference formula. They are given us the x and the y values and they are asking us to find the value of f when x is 3.6. Now 3.6 comes between the range of 0 to 4. So it is a sum based on interpolation. Now let us see how to solve such kind of sums. Number one, step number one. First, we need to find the backward difference table. So we are going to prepare a backward difference table. The columns are x, y, first backward difference, second backward difference, third and fourth backward difference. Now we'll substitute all the values of x. Remember, while preparing or making the table based on backward difference table, always leave a line after posting each value. So for example, in X, I'm writing 0. I leave a line 1, again leave a line 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, we'll note down the value of Y, that is 2, 2, 6, 20 and 50. Now, in order to find the backward difference, that is the first, second, third and fourth, we need to find the difference between the previous columns. Okay. For example, now why the difference between the two consecutive y's? So we go backward base pair. So it will be 2 minus 2, which is 0. 
सिक्स माइनस टू विच इज फोर ट्वेंटी माइनस सिक्स विच इज फोर्टीन फिफ्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी विच इज थर्टी सिमिलरली फॉर फाइंडिंग द सेकेंड बैकवर्ड डिफरेंस वी नीड टू फाइंड द डिफरेंस ऑफ द फर्स्ट बैकवर्ड डिफरेंस सो दैट इज फोर माइनस जीरो इज फोर फोर्टीन माइनस फोर इज टेन थर्टी माइनस फोर्टीन इज सिक्सटीन Now, in order to find the third backward, we need to find the difference of the second backward. Ten minus four is six. Sixteen minus ten is six. And lastly, we need to find the fourth forward uh, backward difference. That is the nothing but the difference of the third backward. So six minus six, which is zero. So this is how. we have to first create the backward difference table always remember it will always be tapering to a single point now just remember while solving sum based on backward difference always remember we have to take the values which are the last in the entire table so 4 50 30 16 6 these are the values which will be used while substituting the value in the formula So now let us see step number two, how to apply the formula and get the answer. But before that, we'll note down what are the values which are given to us. So very first thing we need to find the data. So we are just noting down the data. First we need to get x n. Now in our case, in our case, x zero, x one, x two, x three, and x four. The last value, since it is a backward difference, we always have to take the last value. Here in our sum, it will be x four. The value of which is four. Here, the value of x that we need to find is three point six. The value of h, that is the difference between the two numbers of the x's. Now, the difference between zero, one, two, three, four is one. So eventually, we need to find the value of u. The formula u is x minus x four upon H, which comes to three point six minus four upon one, which comes to zero negative zero point four. So I in uh, I in our entire sum, the value of u will be negative zero point four. Okay, now using Newton's formula. That is the backward uh, difference formula. Okay, we are going to use here. So here it will be f x is equal to y four because we are going to start from the backward plus u multiply by the first backward difference plus u multiply by u plus one. Upon two factorial into the second backward difference plus u into u plus one u plus two upon three factorial into the third backward difference and so on, depending upon how many numbers we are going to use. Now substituting the value. In our case, the y four that is the first the last value of y. Is fifty. So we note down fifty plus the value of u in our case is zero point negative zero point four. So it will be negative zero point four multiplied by the first uh, backward difference. That is the from the bottom part. Okay, so that is thirty plus from the second backward that is sixteen. So here it will become negative. 0.4 into negative 0.4 plus 1 upon 2 factorial into the second backward difference ka amount which is 16 plus the third one or the third backward difference is 6 so again it will become become negative 0.4 into negative 0.4 plus 1 Into negative zero point four plus two upon three factorial. That is three into two into one into six plus the fourth value. The value is zero. 
since the value is zero the final amount will also become zero so we don't have to substitute there we can directly note it down as zero now since we have substituted the value now we'll solve it ahead so while solving it okay 50 will remain as 50 negative 4 into 30 becomes negative 12 so plus and minus minus so i'll write it as negative 12 negative 0 0.2 multiplied by negative 0. Point, i mean negative 0 0.4 multiplied by negative 0 0.4 plus 1 divided by 2 into 16 when you solve it substitute it the final value that you all should have got was negative 1.92 and similarly while solving the third step that was negative 0 0.4 multiplied by negative 0 0.4 plus 1 negative 0 0.4 plus 2 upon 6 into 6 while solving this entire part the answer that you all should have got would have been negative 0 0.384 so 50 minus 12 minus 1.92 minus 0 0.384 the final answer that you all should have got would have been 35.696 so finally the value of x when it is 3.6 is 35.696 therefore when your x is 3.6 the function of x when it is 3.6 the value of that is 35.696 as per newton backward difference formula okay so this is how we have to solve some based on newton backward difference interpolation using the formula i hope everyone have understood this uh, example a very simple sum the only thing is the formula looks a little big but it isn't that complicated okay chalo with that the video based on newton's backward difference formula comes to an end thank you